Welcome to a Live from Lacrosse Titbit with your live web team. My name is Stephen Walker, and today I thought we would sit down with former Blockbuster employee Keith to give us his top five albums of all time. Thank you for joining us, Keith. I, I feel like I'm in a Medea movie. Uh, why do you feel like you're in a Medea movie? Because I can't imagine anyone will watch that. Fair enough. Okay, Keith, uh, it's interesting that you said you wanted to discuss music today because I thought your expertise was in movies. Th that's not true. I love music because it can tell you a lot about yourself. For example, your favorite Nickelback song says a lot about your friend. How so? Well, if you have a favorite Nickelback song, then you have no friends. Okay, you have to be careful saying that. You know, Canadians treat Nickelback like a national treasure. Oh, National Treasure 2004, starring Nicolas Cage. The story of a man who's on a quest to find his receding hairline and acting lessons. But he doesn't find them. So, uh, Keith, you were going to share your top five music albums of all time. Yes, my top five music albums list. Drum roll, please. Thank you. Number five, Dark Side of the Moon. All right, good start, good yeah, start. I agree. It's a fantastic soundtrack to Transformers 3. But do you mean Transformers 3 Dark of the Moon, the soundtrack? Yeah. Featuring bands like Stained, who apparently can't keep their clothes clean. And Linkin Park, an Abraham Lincoln tribute band. The Transformers 3 soundtrack. Really? Not, not Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd? Oh, did you know that they're originally called Skin Tone Floyd, but they all got a sunburn? Okay, what else do you have? Number four, the Mighty Duck soundtrack which includes the classic hit, Good Vibrations, by uh, the Beach Boys, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Did you know that if you watch The Mighty Ducks backwards, it's actually the story of a hockey team that starts sucking and then their coach becomes an alcoholic. Keith, will you stop it? What? Not everything has to be tied to a movie. Preferring Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch or Lincoln Park over bands like Pink Floyd or, or the Beach Boys is like preferring dog food over lobster. Oh. Did you know that if you say dog food laid backwards, it spells dildo of God? Dildo of God. Keith, there are literally thousands of better musicians out there. I, how about, I don't know, Louis Armstrong? Oh, Louis Armstrong, What a Wonderful World, 1967. Yeah, great trumpet player, right? Uh, until he was busted for doing steroids, they stripped him of his seven tour trumpet titles. Green Day? Did you know their 1994 album, Dookie, was originally just called Pew? Pew? Billy Joel. Did you know that Billy Joel's album, The Stranger, is about... Is it... No, it isn't. I think it is. No, it, it isn't. I believe it is. God damn it, Keith! Billy Joel's album is not about jerking off with a numb hand. Jesus. I almost had a heart attack. Keep going, but please, no more soundtracks. Number three, No Jacket Required, 1985, by Phil Collins. It was called No Jacket Required because Phil Collins has so much chest hair, he doesn't even need a jacket to stay warm. There it is. What's number two? I already told you, it's poop by Green Bay. No, I mean number two on your list, Keith. Oh, number two on my list. Number two, John Lennon's I'm a Johnny, 1971. I'm a... Do you mean imagine? Yes, imagine all that Johnny. Did you know that John Lennon also came up with the famous pool game, Yoko Ono? Watch, this is how you play. Yoko Ono! Oh Where are you guys? What's the point of that game? I don't know, break up the Beatles, probably. Keith, what's your number one album of all time? No Diggity, 1997 by Blackstreet. No Diggity? It's an odd pick, but it is nice to see a black musician on the list. Yes, Phil Collins was very important to this list. But the song No Diggity had a terrible error in it. You see, we all need some diggity from time to time. Luckily, the song featured the famous rapper Dr. Dr. E. Do you mean Dr. Dre? Uh, I believe he has two doctorates, one in rhythm and the other in rhyme. What, did you know that there was a movie that came out about Dr. Dre and his time with N.W.A.? And that song of theirs called Fuck the Police, remember that? Oh yeah, Fuck the Police! A song about making love to the police. I understand, this thing is beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, Keith. Yoko! Oh no! Oh, there you are. Stay tuned for more from Live from the Cross and our live web team with tidbits.
I'm Steven. Thanks.